Hi, and welcome to the Earn With Curb podcast, where we dive into the ever-expanding world of making money online. We'll cover things like affiliate marketing, building an email list, content creation, network marketing, entrepreneurship, internet marketing, and other related topics. We'll also cover personal development, law of attraction, motivation, and much more. Our mission is to guide you through the process of making money online by providing the tools, training, resources, and opportunities necessary to help you do so. We also invite you to join our free private Facebook community at www.earnwithkurt.com. Now, on with today's episode. Welcome to another episode of the Earn With Kurt Make Money Online podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about something that can provide a lot of financial security in today's unpredictable economy, earning a second income from home through multi-level marketing or MLM. Whether you're just starting out or looking to improve your efforts, this episode will give you some great strategies to make MLM work for you. First off, let's talk about mindset. It's crucial to always imagine your success as vividly as possible. This might sound like basic advice, but it's the starting point of any good campaign. Positive visions of future are essential if you want to be a multi-level marketing marvel. Now, one thing you'll notice is that a lot of people are drawn to something different. If you offer something unique, you'll stand out in a crowded market. But people also love having options, so make sure you give them choices that meet their needs. Here's a tip. Don't shy away from your stakes. Analyze what went wrong and why. By learning from your past failures, you can move forward with a stronger approach. It's all about evolving and improving. Another helpful tip is to create a vision board. If you're ever feeling discouraged, a visual reminder of why you started your business and what you hope to achieve can keep you motivated. Put up pictures of things you want to purchase or goals you want to reach. It'll keep your eye on the prize. Next, let's talk about the importance of having an updated email database. Whether you build your list from feedback on your website or you purchase it, having a solid email list is crucial for growing your business. It's one of the best tools for staying connected with your audience. If you want to truly thrive in network marketing, you've got to position yourself as a leader. Take the time to come up with fresh ideas for your business. Be original, and your creativity will set you apart from others in the industry. Now, when it comes to selling products, nothing beats genuine enthusiasm. People can tell when you're passionate about what you're offering. When you care about your product, your passion will shine through in every conversation you have. This helps build trust, and customers are much more likely to buy from someone they trust. Here's a piece of advice that's often overlooked. Break down your big goals into smaller, short-term goals. While your long-term business plan might span several years, setting short-term goals will help you progress faster. Reevaluate your plan every few months and adjust as necessary to stay on track. One of the best ways to get ahead in MLM is to model your actions after those who are already successful. Look to your upline or leaders in the industry and learn from them. By following their example, you can save yourself a lot of trial and error. Success leaves clues, and it's important to learn from the achievements of others. Budgeting is another critical factor for success. You need to have a solid understanding of how much it will cost to keep your business running. Setting a monthly budget will help ensure you're not overspending and it'll keep your financials in check. As you build your MLM business, make sure to continuously provide fresh content. Whether it's for your website or presentations, always aim to give your audience something new and valuable. Don't just recycle the same old material. People want to hear unique insights and perspectives. Another great strategy is to offer tutorials or step-by-step guides. Not only does this provide real value to your audience, but it also increases the amount of time they'll spend on your website. More time spent on your site means more opportunities for them to make a purchase. Here's an important tip. Treat your LMM projects like a real business. If you don't put in the time and effort, you won't see the benefits. Hard work, persistence, and a solid work ethic are essential if you want to succeed. When you're looking for an MLM company to work with, choose one that sells products you're genuinely interested in. Your own enthusiasm will rub off on your potential customers, making them more likely to be interested in what you have to offer. Remember, the needs of your customers should always come first. If your customers aren't happy, your business won't last long. 
focus on providing real value and addressing their concerns. Finally, one of the toughest but most essential aspects of MLM is driving traffic to your website. Once people are on your site, they'll be able to learn more about what you offer and make an informed decision about whether to buy. So invest time and effort into getting eyes on your content. That wraps up today's episode. I hope you found these strategies helpful as you continue on your journey to success in multi-level marketing. Remember, with the right mindset, persistence, and a genuine passion for what you're offering, you can make MMA work for you. Thanks for tuning in to the Earn with Kurt Make Money online podcast. And I'll see you next time with more tips and strategies to help you succeed in your business. Thank you very much for listening to today's episode and for being a regular listener of the Earn with Kurt podcast. If you have any questions about today's episode, we invite you to post them in our private Facebook group. You can join the group by going to www.earnwithkurt.com. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.